Hello everyone sa part 2 kung paano gumawa ng quiz gamit ang Google Forms. I am Sir Kenneth Dugay, a licensed professional teacher at isang level 2 Google certified educator. During part 1, in-explore natin itong part na to ng ating Google Forms. This is the settings part. Pag kinlik nyo, meron siyang general, presentation, at quizzes. If you want to know more kung paano explore at paano iset up yung ating quiz, ilalagay ko na lang yung link ng ating part 1 sa description. If you haven't watched that yet, I recommend na panoorin nyo muna bago tayo mag-proceed dito sa Part 2. This is the basic Google Forms interface. May binago lang tayo ng konti yung title and then tong part na to ay dahil sa settings. Ito yung form na gagayahin natin for this tutorial. This is about fractions. Nakalagay kung ilan yung points, ano yung tamang sagot. The correct answers. This is a short answer. Dito naman ay checkbox. And then, eto meron silang addition of fractions. After those, meron silang self-reflection. Ito yung gagayahin natin kung paano siya gawin at ipapakita ko sa inyo ano yung itsura sa ating teachers kapag nasagutan na ng mga sadyante natin yung quiz natin. Okay, let's go with our first one. For our first question, Dito natin ilalagay yung tanong and then etong drop down list na to, pwede nating piliin anong klase ng tanong yung ibibigay natin sa ating sudyante. Short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, checkbox, or even file upload na pwede magpasa ng file ang inyong sudyante using Google Forms. Etong mga part na nasa baba, most likely ginagamit sila sa surveys. So, for the quiz, ito yung part na focus natin for this tutorial. For our first question, what do we call the number above the horizontal fraction line? After natin ilagay yung question, ilalagay ngayon natin yung choices. Option number 1, we have numerator. And then option number 2, we have our denominator. Ngayon, tapos na tayo dun sa ating question and choices. Ngayon, punta tayo dito sa part na to which is the answer key. Click this. Tapos, pwede nating mailagay ano ba yung tamang sagot. The number above the horizontal fraction line is the numerator. Pag kinlik ko to makapapansin ninyo meron tayong check dito. Ibig sabihin, we set this as our correct answer. And then, punta tayo dito. This is the part na pwede tayo mag-assign kung ilang points tong item na to. For example, this is one point. I can just type one or I can just click this arrow para makita natin na this is one point. And then, another feature ng Google Forms na pwede natin explore ay itong Add Answer Feedback. If we click this, pwede tayo magbigay ng feedback kapag yung wrong answer ang binigay ng ating student. For example, nilagay niya is denominator. So, we will be writing here, numerator is the number above the horizontal line while the denominator is the number below the horizontal line. Para kapag ka nagkamali si student, meron silang feedback na, ah, ito pala yung tamang sagot. So, numerator pala yung nasa taas, denominator pala yung nasa baba. And then, kapag tama yung sagot nila, you can affirm your student, good job. And then, save. Meron tayong immediate feedback after they put their answers. Now, if we are finished here, click done. That is for our first question, a multiple choice. And then, I will be teaching you kung paano natin i-organize yung quiz natin. Punta tayo dito sa right side. Sa pinakababa, itong dalawang rectangle na to, 
click this, this is add section. Pag kinlik natin, mahahati yung quiz natin to section 1 and then here's our section 2. Ano yung itsura niya? Bakit kailangan nating hatiin siya into sections? So, if you want to have a preview nung quiz na ginagawa nyo, punta tayo sa taas, yung mata, and then click this. We will be seeing ano ba yung itsura nung quiz natin. This is our section 1. Notice that if I click next, this is a required question. Ibig sabihin, hindi sila makakaproceed dun sa next part unless matapos nila yung part ng quiz that we put as required. So, I will be putting my email and then I will be putting the right answer. Numerator and then kapag tapos na ako dito, I can click next. Then, tsaka lang ako makakaproceed dun sa second part. In this case, dahil wala pa siyang laman, blanco pa siya. Balikan natin yung ating ginagawang quiz. That is how we organize. Bakit natin kailangang hatiin into sections? Kasi kapag kanilagay natin lahat ng tanong sa isang section, may chance na ma-overwhelm si students. Kasi andun na nga lahat. Kaya we take it one question at a time. Now let us proceed with our section 2. Notice na may panibago tayong title. Ang gagawin ko, since same quiz lang naman siya, kukopihin ko na lang yung title at description na nasa taas. Balikan ko, fractions, copy. And then, baba ako, paste, description, copy, and then description dito ay paste. Now, I will be adding another question. I will be going at the right side, and then I will click plus. At eto na yung bagong question natin. For our second question, this is a short answer. So, click lang natin to and then punta tayo sa taas. This is short answer. And then, nagbago yung format natin. Then, I will be writing down the question. It is a fraction where the number in the numerator is greater than or equal to the number in the denominator. And then, nilagay ko, strictly use lowercase letters. Ibig sabihin, dapat maliliit. Kasi, if we do short answer text, Google Forms is case sensitive. Magkaiba si malaki yung unang letter Doon sa maliit, C unang letter. We need specific answers here. Kaya kailangan magbigay kayo ng ganitong instruction. Response validation, pwede natin kontrolin yung inputs ng ating sudyante. In this case, hindi pa natin siya kailangan. So, I'll just click remove. And then, required ulit siya. Kailangan sagutan. And then, proceed tayo kay answer key. Answer key, this is the right answer. The correct answer in this question is improper fraction. So, ano ba yung mga pwedeng lagay nila? So, I will just write pwede na si improper and then, if they write improper fraction and then, I will add another correct answer. If hindi naman ako ganun ka strict sa grammar, I will write pwede na yung improper fractions. And then, I will mark all other answers incorrect. Kasi ito yung correct answer. Medyo tricky si short question kasi kailangan mong isipin ano ba yung pwede pang ilagay na sadyante na pwede nyo rin namang i-consider. And then again, points. I will give one point. And then, add answer feedback. Pwede ako maglagay nung feedback dun sa sagot nung sadyante. Ilalagay ko yung explanation dun sa tamang sagot. Here. And then, if we are done with our feedback, then I will just click Save. Here's my feedback. Then, if I am finished, then I will click Done. That's it for our second section, short answer. Ito yung correct answers. And then, for my third question, again, same process. Punta tayo dito sa kanan, add section, copy, and then paste natin si title, and then description, and then I will be adding another question. For this question, I will be putting a checkbox. Click plus, add question, 
and then scroll down. On this part, I will click check boxes. I will type down the question, which among the following fractions is or are equal to one half? Kaya ako nilagay na is or are kasi pag is, ia-assume nila na isa lang yung tamang sagot and then are, they will always assume na there are multiple correct answers. Where in fact, I can just put one correct answer. So, I will be writing down the choices. Option 1, I will be writing 2 over 4. Baba tayo, add option 3 over 5. And then, add more, add option 4 over 8. And then, add option 5 over 9. And then, again, click required. After that, proceed tayo kay answer key. Ano ba yung tamang sagot? So, 2 over 4 and 4 over 8, they are both equal to 1 over 2. And then, for this part, I will be giving 2 points. I can just type 2 or I can click this arrow 2 times. 2 points. And then, again, add answer feedback. Kapag incorrect yung sagot nila, I will put here the correct answer. And then, kapag katama sila, I can just put, again, good job. Save. And then, that's it for our checkbox. Music